welcome back to the channel. My name is Abba in case you guys are new here. I actually deleted the whole footage that I had filmed before this because I'm just trying to get used to this like new camera setup. I'm so used to filming on my, you know, vlogging camera. It's kind of hard to switch back to like an iPad, which I have not used in a very, very long time. And instead of looking here, I kept looking over there because usually my camera's lens is like in the center. So I apologize if my gaze, you know, goes over there, but I'm gonna try my best to actually look at you guys. So today's video is going to be like a miscellaneous haul. I went shopping with my friends. I went to Burlington. I went to, you know, other stores as well. And some of the items are home stuff. Other items are, you know, accessories and other things. So. It's going to be like this miscellaneous haul so I hope you guys enjoy and let's go on with it so the first item that I ended up getting is from Marshall's and it's their turntable and this was on clearance for three dollars and I personally don't need anything in my kitchen because my kitchen is very very small but I think my mom would really really enjoy this so this is for you mom and I hope you like it the next item that I ended up getting is this candle from sensational I have never tried sensational candles before and this was on clearance because obviously it's you know like 4th of July stuff and I'm excited to try this because I've been wanting to try more candles from Marshalls I know DW Homes is a very good brand but I have never tried the sensational one and I most likely will try this like next year probably so I'm actually gonna save it maybe try it in the spring that's probably what we're going to do so I am so excited for that I'm so sorry that I'm moving a lot I'm just you know trying to make space here for the items that I'm about to show you okay so the next item is something that one of my favorite youtubers recommended and it's this stainless steel straws so it just makes sense she is one of my favorite youtubers she also has an Instagram page and she's just so sweet you guys and she was recommending like metal straws from Amazon but I was able to find a pack at Marshall's so I was able to pick it up uh, when I went shopping with my friends and it also comes with like a cleaner so that is a really good thing about it okay guys so we're going to continue with the items from Burlington I have some makeup items here as well so this one is the fat lash volumizing mascara by a brand called Ioni and I've actually seen this brand at the Dollar Tree. If you watched my Dollar Tree video, you will notice that I did, you know, buy a lot of lashes from this brand. And I want to see what this actually looks like because I have not looked at this stuff at all. Okay, so it's a very thick um, wand. So we'll see how it performs. Okay, so that's what that looks like for $3. I'm willing to give it a shot. In my empties, I most likely will review these because, you know, that's where I seem to do most of my reviews. But excited to try it and can't wait to see how it performs. And then I also ended up getting this Dewy Setting Mist in Coconut by e.l.f. Looks like this. Let's open it up. I'm never like disappointed with e.l.f. products, especially like the newer stuff they've had and the same stuff at the drugstore is going to cost you like $6. So this was again $3.99, so not bad and I do have very, very dry skin so I'm just excited to use this and I'm pretty sure I've used like a dewy setting spray from e.l.f. before. So every time I see it at Marshalls, for a more affordable price or Burlington or any of those kinds of stores. I just get, you know, makeup stuff that I use on an everyday basis. And then I also ended up getting this purse by a brand called Crossy. Uh, look at it. Just look at it, you guys. It's just so pretty. I think I kind of went crazy in the bag section because I actually, like I said, decluttered some of my purses. So um, 
I don't know if I actually mentioned that, but so this bag as well has, you know, the sectioning, you know, into compartments, has the strap. So I was really happy for that and I can't wait to use it. Probably not for an everyday basis, but for the days I'm actually like going out, um, out of Cleveland, <laughs> I probably will use this stuff. Okay, you guys, so I'm filming on my phone right now because I totally forgot to show you guys this particular bag that I also got from Burlington. And this is by a brand called Jones New York. And this was around $24.99. I ended up getting this because it does have, you know, like the other bag I showed you, two sections. And I think this color is good for like an everyday use so i really needed a new like purse for an everyday use which could go with like any outfit and i could take it to you know stores and stuff so that is the bag that i ended up getting and this clip will also go in the middle so i actually went to five below as well because i kind of needed a desk for my laptop like a lap desk because I sit in front of my TV quite a lot especially because you know my semester is over now and I am working more on YouTube stuff so I sit there you know when I do my nails I sit there when I'm editing videos for you guys so I ended up getting this um, lap desk for my laptop and for the times I'm actually doing my nails and I was just making sure that I was recording and I am recording <laughs> so I was happy to have found this this was you know obviously five dollars so not bad and I didn't want to spend more money on the ones from Big Lots Big Lots had you know fancier uh, lap desks and even Amazon has some but they were a little bit more expensive obviously because they have more to offer they have like a section for you know your iPad a section for your cup and stuff and I will post a picture of the ones from Amazon that I'm talking about but I didn't really want to spend too much money on um, you know a lap desk because I'm not going to be here for that long so yeah, I just want something, you know, decent and something to work on when I'm sitting on my couch editing videos. So that was a good find. And moving on to some jewelry that I ended up getting from the Beachwood Mall. Went to H&M and I ended up getting some jewelry and I thought I would share that with you. This was all like in the clearance aisle. I actually got two of these um, sets. So let me just, I think I put it away, one of them. But I actually ended up getting two of these. Sorry, the lens is over there. I keep forgetting that the lens is right here. Okay, so that's what that looks like. I just thought it was so cute. So I ended up getting one pair uh, for my mom, or sorry, one pack for my mom. And then this one as well. And I have been decluttering a lot of my jewelry. If you guys have been on my Instagram or follow me on my Instagram, you will notice that I have been decluttering a lot of the jewelry that I used to own just because of my profession. You know, my style kind of just has changed. And also like a lot of my Indian jewelry, like I don't really wear them because I don't really have events that I go to to wear them. So. You know, I was super happy to have found these for such an affordable price. They're, you know, not dramatic and they will be appropriate for work. At least the studs will be appropriate for work. So I am excited to use those. And then Claire's, you guys, was doing a 12 for 12 or 11 for 11 um, jewelry sale in their clearance aisle. I got this necklace for someone in my friend circle or my family that their name starts with an S and we will just gift this to them for Christmas or something. I just thought it was cute. They had other letters too, but they didn't have my name. 
Also got this set of earrings. I got a lot, so I'm gonna go super quickly here. They were all a dollar each, guys. Super cute. I have to go through them and see which one I wanna keep and which one I wanna actually gift away. This one is this really pretty um, dainty one, and I really, really like them as well. Totally forgot about these. And then I have this one. So cute, you guys, just too cute. More studs. Another one. They're super cute, you guys. This one I think I'm gonna gift to someone, um, probably someone back in India, so. Yeah, that was super pretty as well. I just don't wear earrings like that anymore. Okay, you guys, so I am actually filming on my phone now. You guys have to let me know what you think of the audio quality and also the video quality. Do you think it's better than my iPad? Please just let me know. For some reason, my iPad was just acting weird and it kept saying that I don't have enough space even though I deleted a bunch of different files. So we're going to keep going. And I have a couple more earrings. I like um, mini earrings like this for work or professional settings. So I was really, really happy to have found that. And then this one I think is really cute too. Something which is not too dramatic and I definitely will enjoy it. And then I have this one and this is like a silver theme going on for this one. So I'm probably going to give this one away because I don't really wear like silver jewelry and I'm like throwing items on the floor because I don't want to run out of space. And then this one is in this hexagon shape. Like I said, these were a dollar each. Um, I think it was like a 12 for $12 deal. And then finally this one, which I could definitely see myself wearing when I'm going out and stuff. So this was so cute and I absolutely love like the leopard pattern going around. So that is it for jewelry. I do have a couple of candles that I ended up getting from Aldi. I have this one from Huntington Homes. It's in Pacific Redwood. Looks like this, absolutely gorgeous. And it smells so fresh, you guys. It's almost like a cologne type of scent. So for those days when I wanna take a break from like my bakery sweet scents, I definitely will be giving this one a shot. I also ended up getting this one in ice cream s'mores. I think these are all from the summer line, but I could see myself burning these candles you know, maybe like early fall, like transition into fall. So I'm really excited for this. And then I ended up getting this candle, which was actually a recommendation from Just Make Sense here on YouTube. And it's in Smoked Caramel. These are um, candles from Big Lots. So she actually reviewed the three wick. I ended up getting the one wick because it was a dollar less and I just wanted to give this one a shot. And let me just quickly snip it here. It has that smokiness to it for sure. So I'm really, really like excited to burn this and I will definitely let you guys know what I think of it because I think I will really enjoy this one for sure. Um, either early fall or late fall even. I think the last item that I have here is this hand soap by Panrosa, which is also something I got from Big Lots. And this is in Spiced Caramel Pumpkin. So I have been trying to branch out from Bath & Body Works and try different brands for hand soap. So I was really, really, you know, happy to have found this. I'll let you guys know what I think of the performance eventually in my empties video. Okay, you guys, I'm totally going to interrupt you here in the middle because I totally forgot about this bag, which was from Target, and I ended up getting some stuff from there as well. 
Really quickly, I'll show you what I got. I ended up getting these sweatshirts. They were around $10. I have not tried them on yet, but they're just these plain sweatshirts that you can use to lounge around the house. And this is by the brand Universal Thread, which is, you know, usually Target exclusive. So I was happy to have found that. I got a large and that pink was just too gorgeous to pass over. So this one is in this uh, Christmas green color and almost matches my nails yeah it does match my nails but um it's a plain one and i was happy to have found that okay so the reason as to why i ended up getting those sweatshirts you guys is because i stay home a lot these days i'm doing a lot of work from home you guys know i am a graduate student and I don't really have to be at the campus at least in the fall. I want to be obviously in comfortable clothes but I also want to have some clothing um, so that I am somewhat presentable on Zoom calls just in case I have to be on a Zoom call you know what I mean with my advisor and stuff. So that's one of the reasons as to why I ended up getting those. Also I decluttered a lot of my sweaters as well so and my sweatshirt. So that was that. And then I ended up getting these two clearance items. These are gel uh, nail strips. The brand name is a dashing diva also from Target. And yeah, I'm excited for this. How cute that is. That is so cute. One is for my mom. The other one is for me. And then I also picked up a gel nail polish. Do I need more nail polish? Y'all know that I don't need more nail polish, but this was like a dollar something and so cute it's a really pretty like neutral color with like glitter so i'm excited to try these so i think that is it you guys i think that's all of the items that i recently purchased you know gift wise and for myself as well i hope you guys like this um video and i know i've been very inconsistent with my camera but we're just making things work here you guys and I really, really hope that one day I can get my hands on the Canon G7X and take care of that baby because the camera is my baby. <laughs> Thank you so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye now. Mm -hmm.